So, I got this little uh, Marshall uh, mini uh, amp and cab. It's a 10 inch speaker with a little 15 watt uh, head. And it's super, I, I like it a lot. It's super cool. My plan is to eventually put the cabinet in an ISO cab, the whole cabinet, but it's small. So it's gonna be, I think, I think it's gonna work perfectly for me. And then have the head outside of the cabinet so I can control all the controls. So, um, we're gonna look at the clean first. <laughs> trouble. dial in the clean there's no channel switching on this so you got two gain controls and the first one seems to be the main one and when you max it out when you max it out like that I mean it's got a tiniest bit of tooth but then when you start adding in the second one that's when the 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 distortion starts coming in so uh, it's a balancing act between the two gains. And uh, I don't know exactly how one affects the other, but I described it kind of how I, I think of it. And the first one is like, just like basically a volume, but apparently there's something going on more than volume. And the sec this gain two definitely gives you a lot more distortion. The, uh, the EQ range, so that's... Well, my phone just went off. So what I was saying is the, the, um, the EQ section's a little bit unique to this one than any other amp I've ever had. It has treble, contour, and bass. And uh, no mid control. I mean, the contour is some sort of mid control. Uh, but I don't entirely know exactly how it works. So I'm sorry that I'm... Uh, I'm sorry that I'm supposed to be the expert. And I, there's a lot about this amp that's a little bit confusing to me. It doesn't work like a normal amp, but the treble. I mean, yeah. So bass, you can cut it all out. It doesn't have a tremendous amount of bass on tap. I pretty much just leave the bass on full. And then where it gets interesting is with the contour. And what I think happens is the further to the further to the right it gets more scooped. Further to the left it gets more uh, honky. And I kind of like it here, but uh, I don't know. Master volume and then reverb, which I'll show you the sweep of the reverb. Obviously none. I never play with that much reverb. So now we're gonna try out the uh, the high gain or the the kind of the distortion channel. So 
pretty much rocks, right? Um, that sounded a little boxy to me, so let's try. rocks and um that's the two sounds i mainly use is a is a is a pretty clean sound and then a, a a real distorted sound and i showed you all the knobs i told you about the uh the mid-range control which is uh actually a contour i'm gonna have to figure out how contour mid-ranges work um Actually, that'd be a good thing to do right now. Um, all the way to the right. So, we'll explore this a little bit. Seems to, uh, it doesn't sound scooped up high. But I know when you put it here, it sounds boxy. So, that sounds pretty boxy. Yeah, so it's, it's affecting the mid-range. says that when I dial in my tones that I sound too muffled and wolfy and I agree uh, but uh, uh, this one is hard to get muffy and uh, 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 what am I trying to say it doesn't have a lot of bass is what I'm trying to say it uh, it really is uh, mid-rangey and trebly um but i do have a few sounds that i like i uh think that this sounds like a real amp it doesn't sound like a toy but it doesn't sound quite as good as my mg100 so um in order to fix that before i record with it i'm gonna try some different speakers and I'm going to start with the, uh, I think it's called the Celestian Vintage 10. So I'm going to try that in here and hopefully that solves the, the bass problem because there's not a lot of bass. I mean, I could live with this. I mean, I could live. I could live with it just like this, but I want to, I just want to try and get a touch more. So I hope this video wasn't too lame for you guys. Uh, um, that's the, the Marshall lead 15 mini, uh, stack. Thank you for watching.